it's New Year's Eve and tonight I am going to be serving up a retro prawn cocktail with my rosemary clove de bread. So simple, everybody loves it and I want to bring it back from the 80s. It needs to live in this year, bring me on going from New Year's Eve. So you want fresh prawns, you can get them frozen and then pour them out. They take seconds or minutes to defrost, so that's quite easy. And then we've got ketchup, we've got mayonnaise, cayenne pepper, lemon, and then we want some crunchy salad leaves, or you could use cucumber as well if you can't get your hands on salad leaves, and then some scallions, or you could use both, because the texture of both is quite nice too. So for the prawn cocktail, I've got my prawns, which are defrosted, I pop them aside. I've got mayonnaise, try to get the best mayonnaise you can get. And then I've got ketchup, and we're making a sauce which is known as the Mary Rose sauce. Who Mary Rose is, I have no idea, but that's the name that's been given. So you mix it around and it turns into yummy pink sauce, which is one of my guilty pleasures, I have to say. And then in goes the cayenne pepper to give that wonderful spice. You do need that lift and spice. If you don't have cayenne pepper, you could put in some chili flakes into it. A bit of sea salt in here. And then I'm also going to put in these scallions for spring onions and they give that lovely bite to it. And that's the sauce done. How easy is that? Dunk all those prawns into the sauce and get them completely coated so they are dripping with delicious creamy spiciness. And this is you know, something I love to do kind of all year round. But I think especially on New Year's Eve, I think now New Year's Eve, sometimes you're a little bit anxious, you're thinking about the past, the future, you might be excited, you might be a bit sad. It's lovely to start with something sharing. It brings everybody together, it makes everybody feel really relaxed. It's no pressure on you as the host because you can do it in just a few minutes. And they're really accessible ingredients. Now, on to my soda bread. I am going to ask you to make one New Year's resolution for me, and that is to start baking bread. This is so simple. It's a stir, shape, and bake bread. It's wholemeal flour, regular flour, yogurt, and milk mixed together, soda, lovely fresh rosemary, mix it all together, bake it in the oven. There's no proofing, no kneading, no waiting around, and it is absolutely delicious and wholesome. So I know that every one of you can make it, so please try it. So I've sliced those up and cut them into small little pieces, so they're like canapes. What you can do is just put the bread like this in the middle of the table and the bowl up like this and tell everybody help themselves. I do that quite a lot. But because it's New Year's Eve, we're gonna make them slightly canapé style. So on goes that lovely cost lettuce, which I'm gonna put on here. And then the prawn cocktail mixture on top. The only thing I'm not sure about is how I'm going to do all of these without eating them all before everybody comes. A little bit of sprig of mint on the top and then on it goes and some freshly ground black pepper. It's always a good idea when there's mayonnaise and prawns involved. And then just keep going until you get your whole platter finished. I mean I would suggest to do this maybe just 10 minutes before everybody arrives. They're so light and delicious. This year has been the first year that I have grown lemons and oranges, which is very exciting. And I've just picked these guys from my greenhouse and I've been saving them for New Year's Eve because it's such a special evening. So I'm going to finish off the prawn cocktail with a little squeeze of my first lemon and make a little wish. 2024 is going to be one of the best healthy, safe, happy years. Happy New Year's Eve.